Once upon a time, in deep, deep winter, when the snowflakes were falling like feathers from the sky, a queen sat at a window with a black ebony frame, sewing. And as she looked up from her sewing at the snow, she pricked her finger with a needle, and three drops of blood fell upon the snow. And because the red looked so beautiful against the white snow, she thought to herself, Oh, if only I might have a child with skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as the ebony window frame. Soon after that, she had a little daughter, whose skin was as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. And therefore she was called Snow White. After a year, the king took a second wife. She was a beautiful woman, but she was proud and haughty and could not bear the thought that anyone should be more beautiful than she. She owned a magic mirror that always told her the truth, and every day she asked it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Lady Queen, you are the fairest one of all. Snow White grew up and became more and more beautiful. And when she was 16, she was as lovely as a bright sunny day, and even more beautiful than the Queen herself. And when the handsomest and richest prince in all the land heard about her, he decided to come to the castle to see for himself. Halt! Out of the way! I've come to see Snow White. Let him pass. Why have you come here, Prince Charming? I want to see Snow White. No one may enter the castle. The Queen has given me strict orders. But I demand to see Snow White. Come and look. How lovely Snow White is. Hunter, you must promise to come for me if the Princess is ever in danger. I promise you, Your Highness, if Snow White ever needs you, I will come and get you. Tell her she's the fairest of all, and give her this gift from me. It's a necklace. I want her to wear it and think of me till I come back again. I shall go to her at once with your present. Thank you, Hunter. Princess Snow White, I have a surprise here for you. What is it, Hunter? It's a present from Prince Charming. Oh. He saw you standing at the window and asked me if I could let him in, but of course I couldn't. He wanted to speak to you. Then he told me to give you this present. That necklace is for the fairest woman in the land. He wishes you to wear it till he comes back again.
A necklace for the fairest woman in the land. Then it belongs to me. Give it to me. The necklace is mine. The prince gave it to me as a gift. Your Highness, that is the truth. Give me that necklace. <gasps> What do you want? Your Highness, the carriage is waiting for you. I shall not go out today. Leave me alone. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Lady Queen, you are fairest here, it's true. But Snow White is a thousand times more fair than you. Snow White, you say, is fairer than I. A thousand times fairer than Snow I. Snow White is a thousand times more fair than you. Francisca! Have you been listening? No, Your Highness. I would never dream of listening. Send in the hunter. Yes, Your Highness. I have something for you to do. I am at your service, Your Highness. I cannot stand the sight of Snow White any longer. Take her to the woods. And kill her. No, Your Highness. I can't do that. Little Snow White, that good dear child. That good dear child is beginning to get in my way. Good dear child. Your Highness, I can't- Hunter! I am your queen, I command you. I can't do it. And if I offered you a thousand gold pieces... I wouldn't kill Snow White for money, whatever you offered. Then the rest of your life will be spent in a dungeon. Will you do as I command you, yes or no? Yes, your highness. Good. Go at once and take Snow White into the woods. And do what you have to do. Your highness, I... Go! As he was leaving, the hunter picked up Snow White's necklace, which the queen, in her anger, had thrown into a corner. Then the hunter went to Snow White and led her into the forest. I've been told I should be careful when I go into the woods. Mm. But all the animals are my friends. That's right. I hope we're lucky enough to see a deer. Do you believe we will, Hunter? We might. And sure enough, she did see a deer, and a beautiful peacock, and a fluffy little rabbit. And then she heard a screech owl. Come on. We still have further to go. I won't go any further. Hunter, take me back. Aren't we going to go home now? Snow White, you will never go back to the castle. Don't talk like that, Hunter. It scares me. Why do you look at me like that? The queen is an evil woman. She has ordered me to... What? She has ordered me to... Tell me, Hunter, what is it? She said I was to kill you. Oh, I beg you, Hunter, please don't kill me. I'll stay here alone in the woods. The Queen will never know about it. The Queen made me promise I would kill you. But I cannot do it, Snow White. Here is the necklace. The one the prince gave to you. Hunter, come back! Don't go away! Don't leave me! I'm crying! Hunter, where are you? Thank <laughs> you.
Snow White found herself in front of a tiny little house. Is anyone home? There was no answer, so Snow White walked in. She saw a tiny table with seven tiny plates filled with delicious food. Snow White was so hungry, she tasted a little from each plate. After she ate, she was so tired, she looked for a place to rest. Upstairs, she found seven tiny beds. She fell asleep on two of them. Up the mountain and down again seven times with seven little men. Up the mountain. Stop! The lights are on in our house. Somebody must be there. Careful. Let's go quietly. It might be a thief. What if it's a monster or a dragon who breathes fire? Stop! Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Did you? No, me neither. All right, let's stick close together. Come on! Shh! Quietly! Follow me! Let's have supper. Who's been sitting on my chair? Who's been eating from my plate? It wasn't me. Who's been nibbling at my piece of bread? Who's been eating my spinach? Who's been using my fork? Who's been cutting with my knife? And who's been drinking out of my cup? There must be somebody in the house. I knew all along there was somebody here. Come on, let's find him. Yes, come on. Get your lanterns. Everybody upstairs. Somebody's been lying on my bed. And on mine, too. And mine. Maybe he's hiding under the beds. Quick, come here. There's someone lying on my bed. It's a girl. It's a girl. A beautiful girl. How did she get here? She's fast asleep. Where did she come from? She must be very tired. She's so big. She doesn't look dangerous. No, but what are we going to do with her? Hide! She's waking up. Where am I? You're in our house. We're the seven dwarfs. What are your names? I am Whitey, and the next one is Bushy. I'm called Eddie, and I'm called Teddy, and this one is Freddy. My name is Blackie, and I am called Bim Bam, and who are you? Yes, yes. Who, who are, are you? you? My name is Snow White. My father is the king of this whole land. Snow White? What a beautiful name. She's a real princess who rides everywhere in a golden coach. How did you come here? Did you lose your way? How did you find our house, Snow White? My stepmother sent me all alone into the woods with the hunter. He was supposed to kill me. What? Why did she do a thing like that? But the hunter's a good man and he spared my life. I guess I'd better be going now. But where will you go? Why do you have to leave? You can't just go out into the forest. Why don't you stay with us? Yes, Snow White, stay oh, here please, with us. Oh, please, Snow do stay. Snow oh, White. yes, we have lots of fun together. And when we're out working, we'll leave Snow White in charge of the house. Yes, and she'll keep it in order for us. Hey, let's have some music. Ah, music. Snow White, can you dance? Yes, a little. Beat it. Please, won't you be my partner? Please, won't you dance with me?
white and the seven dwarfs danced and danced till it was almost morning. But somebody else was not sleeping that night. Look, the wicked queen is still awake. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Lady Queen, you are fairest here, it's true. But over the seven mountains far away, where the seven dwarfs stay, Snow White is a thousand times more fair than you. Snow White is alive. So the hunter didn't kill her after all. What do you think will happen when the wicked queen finds Snow White? Oh, isn't it lucky that the dwarfs are still at home? Let's hope they can protect her. Boys, this is good. Best breakfast we've ever you had. You shouldn't have had to cook, Snow White. Who's going to help me tidy up then? I, I will, will, so do I. Fine, you two help me clear the table, and the rest of you start tidying up the house. Yeah. Okay. Come on, fellas. Snow White. What do you do? We go over the seven mountains to our mine, deep, deep down under the earth. Down there, there is gold and silver and precious stones. We mine it from the rock and make it into jewelry. Snow White, today you're going to be all alone in the house. Watch out for the wicked queen. Yes, because one of these days she may find out that you're living here. You don't have to worry. I can take care of myself, all right. Goodbye. 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 Up the mountain and down again. the wicked queen. Oh, she's not very far from the dwarf's house now. Good day. 
I hope I didn't scare you. No. Are you all alone? Yes. But where are the seven dwarfs? They've gone to their mine. They won't be back till this evening. Ah. I have some lovely belts here. Take a look. And dainty laces. And pretty ribbons. Let's see what there is. How do you like this belt? It's beautiful. Well then, come on. Let's go inside. You can try on all the belts I have. I'm sure it'll fit. Try it on and see. Come here. I'll help you. Oh, isn't it pretty? Just my size, too. I think it could be a little bit tighter, don't you? Let me see if I can fix it for you. What are you doing? Not so tight. <gasps> Red as blood, black as ebony. Now I am once again the fairest one of all. Snow White! Snow White, Snow White. where are you? Oh, oh look! She must have fallen down. Maybe she's sick. What can be the matter with her? Quiet a minute. Snow White, can you hear me? Look there. Snow White's wearing a brand new belt. And just look how tight it is. I don't think she can breathe. Quick, get a knife and cut it off her. Let's have some light. Where do you think she got the belt? Snow White. She's moving. She's waking up. Snow White's alive! What happened? Where's the peddler woman? A what peddler, peddler woman? woman? Yes, she gave me that beautiful new belt, and then she laced me up so tightly that I couldn't breathe anymore. The peddler woman was the wicked queen! Yes, yes, I read it Of course, her. that must be I know it. it was. No, no, it wasn't the wicked queen. She looked completely different. Yes, yes, it was her. She dressed herself up as a peddler woman so that you wouldn't recognize her. She's sure to be back, so don't trust anyone. And don't buy a belt from anyone. And don't let anybody come into the house. No, I won't let anyone in again. I'm so glad that Snow White is alive and well. <laughs> one of all. Lady Queen, you are the fairest here, it's true. But over the mountains far away, where the seven dwarfs stay, Snow White is a thousand times more fair than you. When the Queen heard this, she thought up a new scheme, even more wicked than the first one. And she got ready to go over the seven mountains to the dwarfs' house once again. Good morning, my child. Would you have a cup of water for a tired old woman? Yes, of course. Oh. Thank you. Could I sit down and rest for a little while? Of course. Oh, what wonderful combs. Do you like them, dear? I have lots more in my basket. Ivory, tortoise, golden combs. How do you like this one? Very much. Uh, I'll put it in for you. What lovely hair you have. Ah! 
Now who's the prettiest in all the land? That gets rid of you at last. She must have given Snow White the comb, that old bag. Come on, let's pick Snow White up and take her into the house. Easy now. Careful. Steady now. Watch out for the steps. Of course, the wicked queen had found out through her magic mirror that Snow White was still alive. So once again, she busied herself thinking up a terrible scheme. That very night, she searched through her book of witchcraft. This time, she was determined not to fail. deadly poison in this apple, I'll destroy Snow White forever. Good day to you, my pretty little one. Good day. Shall I carry the apples into the house? I can't let anyone in. The seven dwarfs have absolutely forbidden it. Of course you mustn't let anyone in. But I'm only delivering the apples for the dwarfs. They always buy them once a year. Every year in the fall, I walk all the way over the seven mountains to bring the dwarfs their apples. You must come back again when the dwarfs are at home. Oh, I'm an old, old woman. I can't come back over the seven mountains for the second time. You'll have to. I won't buy your apples. Very well. Then this year the dwarfs will get no apples. You wait and see how angry they'll be with you. But why don't you take a few for me as a gift? No, thank you. I don't want any apples. Look. Here's my juiciest apple. Take a bite and see. Don't you trust me? Very well. Then I'll cut the apple in two. The red half is for you. Take it. And the white half I shall eat myself. Delicious, isn't it? See if the dwarves can be an A help, Snow White. <laughs> Listen, a thunderstorm. I don't like the sound of that. I don't either. 
Do you think the Wicked Queen has done something to Snow White? Quick, let's go home. Finish up there. Get your cloaks on. Hurry. Listen to that thunder. Maybe Snow White is in danger. Maybe something's happened to her. Yes, quick. Let's go home. The dwarfs ran towards the house. The queen hurried back to the castle, when suddenly... <laughs> the queen was struck by lightning. wearing a belt. That was the Wicked Queen. What did she do to her this time? Shh! Quiet a moment. I can't hear her heart beating. Snow White is dead. Sadly, the dwarfs built a long glass box and gently placed Snow White inside. Month after month, they stood watching over her. One day... Someone's coming! Stand in front of the coffin! It's the Seven Dwarfs. We're looking for Snow White, the King's daughter. You're looking for Snow White? Who are you, anyway? I'm Prince Charming. The Wicked Queen is trying to kill Snow White. That's why I brought the Prince here. But we haven't found a trace of her anywhere. You can stop your search now. Snow White is dead. Dead? The Wicked Queen did kill her. Give me Snow White. I'll give you a rich reward. No, no! We wouldn't exchange Snow White for anything in the world. Dear little dwarfs, I have been searching all over the land for her. The necklace that she is wearing was a present from me. Was, was, it? was it really? I love Snow White and cannot live away from her. Give me her coffin. Over here, everybody. Snow White must stay here. Why does he want to take her away? We won't let him. We'll keep her here with us. But he seems so much in love with Snow White. Yes, he does. But all the same, she's ours. But look at him. He looks so sad. And Snow White always wore his necklace. Perhaps she loved him, too. Could be. Prince, since you love Snow White so very much, you can take her with you. Thank you, you good little dwarfs. I'll take Snow White back to my palace. And I'll honor and cherish her forever and ever. Come on. Hunter, get the horses and follow us. The dwarfs carefully lifted Snow White in her glass box and started towards the prince's castle. You clumsy nitwit! It wasn't my fault. I tripped. Why do you always blame me? Can't you even keep on your feet? 
Snow White! Snow White is alive! Snow White? She's moving. She's opening her eyes. She can't really have been dead after all. Look there, a piece of apple. I bet it was poisoned. The monk must have knocked it out of her throat. Yes! Yes, of course! Yes, yes! Hunter, yes. come and look! Snow White's alive! Come on, let's help her out of the coffin. Careful now. Watch out you don't trip again. Easy. That's it. Snow White. what you gave to me. I was to wear it until you came back again. Snow White, we'll go back home to my castle, and then we'll get married without a moment's delay. Yes? Yes. And then we'll all have a wonderful party. And you can all eat as much as you want. Come on, then. Off to the wedding feast. Hooray! Oh, very sweet. <laughs> yeah. With the seven dwarfs as the seven best men, Snow White and Prince Charming were married. And, of course, they lived happily ever after.